Just give me a moment. The librarians come in quicker than others. I'm going to ask them not to thrash me around this time. They're laughing at me. Good evening, our favorite friends. Of course, by favorite friends, we make a joke because all who are connected with, with us are favorites. And of course, we are connected with all of you. But those of you who are connecting in the moment now, be it live or later, get a special moment in our hearts that we give blessings to you. We are, of course, the librarians and collective of the Akash, and we wish to talk to you today about something that is dear to our hearts, which is to understand you came into this life to be who you are. Many of you think you are less than because you are not this one or that one, Understand they are living their lives. You are here to live your life. You look the way you do. You think the way you do because this is what you desired to be in this life. In your last life, you were very different. In your next life, you will be very different. When you are outside of body, you are all of your lives at once plus your eternal being. So understand, you should never berate yourself. You should never think of yourself as anything less than perfect. Because perfect is what you are and perfect is who you are for your purposes in this life. Yes. So we tell you, the question should not be, why aren't I this? Why aren't I that? But if I am this, what is my goal? What are my challenges? Why am I here? What is my path with this? When you get your thoughts and your wishes in alignment with acknowledging truth and saying, why am I here? What shall I do to honor my purpose for being here? you will find much joy in being who you are. This is important for you to understand. Each and every one of you is perfect because each and every one of you is exactly whom you decided to be. If you imagine, today I will have my perfect day, and you give yourself your perfect day, and then the next day you talk with your friends and you say, yesterday I had my perfect day. They say, what was your day? And you tell them, they'll go, oh, that's your perfect day? That's not my perfect day. Of course, because you are each individuals. So if you will be individual with your idea of a perfect day, you may be individual with your idea of a perfect self. You are your perfect self. You may love yourself and respect and honor yourself for this purpose. One moment. But we say, if you are watching this video now, then you also know there is more to life than me, 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 what's in it for me. You are also in this planet because you have awareness that there is a role you have chosen to play to help with healing your beautiful planet and raising it to its next state of existence. You know this in your heart. But yet your brain will tell you otherwise because your brain will trick you and say, oh, you're silly. This is not real. We say, don't worry about that. Do what brings you great joy if what brings you great joy brings beauty and harmony to the planet.
Yes, if what brings you great joy is something that causes harm to others, then we know that does not bring you great joy. That just fill, feeds some demon energy, no, not demon energy, some injured energy within you. It's better to heal injured energy than to feed it, always. And when you look upon yourself with truth, you can see what of your energy is feeding off negative forces within you. Just imagine you have a furnace right here inside you, and you have an other furnace right here. And this one makes you feel bad about yourself, makes you feel hurt, makes you feel like you're not good enough. And this one says, let's send joy to the world. When you put the energy into your mind and into your chakras and into your body, where do you send that energy? Do you feed the, the pit that makes you feel bad about yourself? Or do you feel the pit that says, let's make everyone feel good about themselves? Or do you send it equally? We tell you, you do not need to feed the pit that brings you sorrow or distress. It is not that you are a bad person or you are inept or less than. It's that you keep feeding this monster that wishes to eat. You can send love to it and healing energy and it will say, oh, my work is done. I gave you a challenge to heal me with love and now you've healed me with love. Bye bye. And it will go off to its energy family. And then you'll go, wow, I feel good. I feel very good inside. I like myself and I'm ready to do good things. So this is a challenge we give you. The challenge we give you is to like yourself very much because you are perfect. You can look to the trees. The trees have great wisdom. And they bring love and energy up through them to the animals that live in them, the little bugs and grubs, the birds, the squirrels, to the leaves. The trees communicate with each other. They help each other. Trees are very magical. When you look to the trees, remember, there are roots at the bottom and the top. The roots in the bottom bring earth magic up through the tree to the angelic, the cosmic, the divine. And the roots at the top are the leaves, which bring magic from God and the angels down through the tree into earth. The leaves, the branches, are roots as well. A different kind of root, but the energy flows through the tree all the same. You may think of your crown chakra the same way. It is bringing all the beautiful energy through your being into earth. And at the same time, you bring the beautiful energy through your root chakra from earth to the cosmos. It is the same, a different kind of energy, but necessary for survival. It is important that each of you fill your being with love for self because this is how you then emanate love and send it to the world. Your planet is ready to be healed and evolved. You heal and evolve your planet through love. You say, I am one person. How does my being happy heal the planet? If every single person, if half the people on your planet said, I will be happy, I will love myself, I honor myself, I send love. Think how much love will be on the planet. And those who are there going, we don't like love, will be surrounded by love and they'll go, oh, maybe love's not so bad. And they start to like it. You will be amazed at the difference when people go forward with love. We send love to you.
There are many beings you do not see that are waiting for your planet's vibration to go up just a little bit more so that you can connect with them and say, please help us. They are here. They are waiting. They are waiting. They want so much to help. You have collectives, divine beings, entities, other dimensions waiting to help your planet. And as soon as you have enough love, you will be able to raise up and connect with them. You do not have to wait for your planet to do so. You may each do that individually as well. We encourage this. Now that you are aware there is much help, you do not need to work so hard by yourself. You know there are many who are here to help you. And of course, we invite all of you to visit us in the Akash. Your books of your many lives are here for you, as well as many other books of all sorts of subjects, just as every library has. You are welcome to visit anytime. That is all. We do not have much to say today. We will be back another day to talk about what do we call mobilization of love. If you are going to be an army of love, how do you make that happen? We will be back another day for that. For now, we are honored to have shared time with you. We depart. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was a lot of wisdom compressed in a little time. Um, so um, I'm going to skedaddle out of here. Thank you all. I'm like so out of it now. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you for joining me. For joining us and um, I'm gonna have to go give my head permission to um, not feel so um, I have a wonderful day wonderful night wherever you are and um, I guess our homework this week is to love yourself awesome take care bye <laughs>